And we're back with Endless Mode. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And I'm Captain Emoji, and we're checking out some more of Damon X Machina. Yeah, I got a message. Greetings, we are Zen. Okay. Hmm. Fair enough. Cool. I will say I have no idea what the overall plot of this game is. Not so far, Other than, no. you're mercenaries. We hire mercenaries. Welcome. And it's, I guess, at least somewhat post-apocalyptic given the opening cutscene. Yeah. Been several months since they had someone pass the aptitude test. The one that no one ever fails, almost. Not a terrible lot of... Recruits, then, huh? Yeah. Hmm. So, Orbital is a consortium, so that's a neat. And we do crisis response. So, I know for training we fought AI. Like, who's our opposition normally? I think it's AI. Rogue AI? In yeah. The aftermath of all the bad stuff? Looks like. That'd be interesting. More importantly, I think we got a new gun. We did get a new gun. Is it better? A little less effective range, a little less ammo, shoots automatically. No auxiliary equipment. But I can put a shield on a pylon. What does it do? I think I can just swap it out with a gun. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you've got two guns available now. Alright. Sweep the city. Immortals have invaded Grace City within Sky Union's territory. Team up with other reclaimers to eliminate them. Again, Goal. enemy AIs. Goal, eliminate the enemy AIs. Side goal, question mark, question this mark, question mark. mark. This mission is a request from Sky Union. The details are as follows. All right. Hostile AI forces have invaded Sky Union's territory within the Oval Link. Well, that's not Each good. Each assigned mercenary must quickly clear out the enemies within the designated area. Well, they we do have, have two guns. That the invading enemy force consists of these these AI. For this mission, the, the area looks has like been flyer. divided among yeah. all participating reclaimers. You will be accompanying okay. Bullet Works. Briefing over. Bullet Works, huh? All right. So it looks like this mission is worth like two thousand of whatever their money is. Yep. Do you have to pay for your ammo? I wonder. God, I hope not. That's what always killed me in the Armored Core games. Same. Uh, it's why I usually swapped out to some kind of energy weapon as soon as I could. Is so I wasn't spending all of my money on machine gun ammo. Hey, rookie. If you got any questions, hit me up. I'd be happy to show you the ropes. So you're sure okay. thing, Johnny G. Falcon. See what I got Falcon up Lombardi. With? Come on, Corporal. <laughs> when are you going to stop treating me like a newbie? Four. Send us the mission data. Uploading. Awkward pause. That should be everything. Consult this data for detailed information about the mission area. I wonder if the awkward pause is to approach. remind us that 4 is an AI. The mission <laughs> like, a people's. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that moon is super blowed up. Catch you later, yeah, it is. And red skies. Press A to grab and hold certain objects and enemies that can be used as weapons. Scanning battlefield. Wait, pick up the car. Yeah, there we go. 
initiating each arsenal data link. Opening squad communications channel. Begin the mission. Hey, rookie. Looks like you made it to the battlefield in one piece. Welcome I wonder if you're going to have to save one of them. Exciting, isn't it? This is hell. Encased in a 2,000 kilometer wide ferry. Focus. Come on, man. What do you keep busting my chops for? Oh, Lots I of flyers. The name's Johnny P. Yeah. I'm with Bulletworks. And that lovely ray of sunshine is the Corporal. He's with Bulletworks, too. Please remember I'll be honest, the call. flight system in these oh. robot games is never my great. Call sign. <laughs> How about this one? I wish I had a cool sounding call sign like Falcon. A call sign is just like, I remember our course flight being clunky yeah, on its cool. best day. Anyway, yeah. How, how's this one? This Hold area. that. The other areas are being handled by other replacements. You know what I really miss right now? What's that? Motion control aiming. In this line of work, oh. The wrong foot Corporal's right. You'll definitely want to I wonder if that's an option. Just keep tabs on the Merc Nair Merc. And you'll learn fast who's hot and who's not. Anyway, yeah, let's get, pick up some top. ammo. Is that where those glowy things are? Picking up every now yep. and then, AI invaders will show up knocking at the door, trying to get in. And when that happens, we get called in to clean house. Test control, more or less. Pretty much. You probably already know about the immortal. Mission complete. Execute I mean, on no. the return sequence. Return according to instructions. Over already, huh? Just like the rookie's still in one piece, too. Time to head home and... Wait, Johnny. I don't like how this smells. Something's coming. You and your nose. Access granted. Sky Union radar station has confirmed the appearance of immortals in your vicinity. Transmitting uh -oh. circuit data. I don't know what those are, but that doesn't sound great. They sound much cooler than whatever you were just dealing with. Okay, you were uh, wondering how big the enemies get. Yeah. That one's got trees on them. It kind of looks like Bastion. What am I even looking at? Maybe this is the overgrowth on the head of trees, but. Oh, sure we're not in over our heads here? Mission update. Sky Union has notified us of a change to this mission. No kidding. You <laughs> Thank you. From advancing further in the Sky Union territory. What? I wonder if you'll get a big glowy sword at some point. What's the call, Corporal? Like as an option. We're right where we need. Should have known you'd say something like that. Ah, fine. I guess we're doing this. There are no wine in this bullet. Although, it really reminds me more of a Xeon weapon, because it's just the edges that seem to be, uh... Yeah. Like a, like a heat weapon. For I feel like I should have a bigger gun. Don't you have, like, a, a shoulder weapon or something? No, I've got a shield up there. Oh. No rocket pods or anything? Or? Nothing like that yet. So I'm just gonna concentrate on shooting its legs, I guess. Shooting its knees out. It does feel like you're just annoying. <laughs> but I mean, it's putting up actual numbers, so you must be hurting it at least a little. Well, at least they seem to move pretty slowly. Yeah. Like, if this wanted to, it could just walk through the town while you're shooting at it and not care. But it doesn't seem to walk super fast. And it seems interested in you, even though you're not really scared. Good. I don't think his assault rifles are really doing it. Ooh. I've got no real. Uh, got Char Char as the boy there. Yeah. I won't always have. I mean, look at that crimson colored man. Oh, they're gonna beat it with cinematics. They're gonna beat it with anime. He can play, huh? Looks like. I'm the superior pilot. Just focus on defeating these for now. Okay, so apparently they've got some anime bullshit between them. It sounds like it. It's Char and Amuro over here. 
the real protagonists. <laughs> All right. Well, good job, team. <laughs> Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. Initiate Side goal cleared. cleared. I mean, not by me, but... Do you, do you still get paid? Uh, you know... Maybe? Maybe they'll give you bigger guns after this. Maybe. Hope so. Maybe a computer that'll give me some sort of visual indicator how much damage I'm doing. That would be nice. Because, <laughs> I mean, numbers are nice, but I've got nothing to compare the numbers to. Right. You know, you're putting up, like, 30s and 50s, but, like... Out of what? Yeah. I see we have a new face with us. Let me introduce myself. I'm Crimson Lord, second in command of Bullet Works. And this is Diablo. You did well out there. I'll be sure to keep you in mind. Neat. So who do you think's gonna betray us? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the guy in all black with the face mask who wants to kill the second in command? Named Diablo. Maybe. We're still alive. That's all that matters. You really gotta work on your praise, Corporal. Alternatively, Crimson Lord is the bad guy. Until next time. Sure. Maybe both of them. Depends on how clever the writer thinks they are. Yeah. For completing future missions. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Um Your individual yeah. ability has the greatest impact on your arsenal's power, but new weapons and equipment are just as important. Okay, but yeah, they had you like a literal cutscene super move. To you by building your reputation with specific consortiums. Oh, that's neat. Building your service record through repeated battles is the fastest Is there a cutscene power? Like <laughs> Lord and Diablo. Your reward payout is higher than usual this time because your mission objective was updated from its original listing. Okay. There is that precedent makes sense. for requesting higher payouts, but I do not recommend it, as it can leave an unfavorable impression with the client. Immortal. Yeah, don't ask how much you're getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> don't negotiate too much. After the moon fell, an unknown phenomenon caused some AIs to regard humanity as a threat that must be annihilated. These immortals have uh, their own um, unique language, as well as individual personalities. Oh. They can also corrupt other AIs and human weapon systems, uh, assimilating them into oh, their maybe four is gonna betray us. Forces, working alongside that, the consortium. That seems like exactly the sort of anime bullshit this ends on, on yeah. Missions to eliminate immortals are assigned to mercenaries like you to achieve that goal. Ooh, ooh, or we go rogue with four. Uh, I can see Four that. goes rogue, but not in a, like, kill humanity way. In a, so we're doing I, it wrong, we need to negotiate. Can I pet the alive. dog yet? I mean, it's an ugly dog, but I still want to pet him. He's got a cyber leg! Oh, that's very good. I love this uh. very good dog. But yeah, I can I can see us going freelance and having to do something else. Like yeah, maybe there's a way to negotiate with the uh, immortals since apparently they're like sentient and stuff. Mission briefing. Yeah, what's up? This mission is a request Investigate the neutral zone. Those darn neutrals. Uh, during the previous mission. Their neutrality. Sky Union has deemed it necessary to what is even the point of being neutral? To prevent future immortal invasions. I've uploaded a map of the mission area. The area you'll be investigating shares a border with Sky Union's territory. Hey. Complete any necessary preparations. Then stand by and await dispatch. Briefing over. Said something about getting prototype weapons. Higgins class immortals. So named after the mythological race. Colossal beings born from the blood that fell when the primordial god Uranus was castrated. I'm pretty sure they didn't put that much thought in naming the giant robots, dude. of our time, we are like unto Zeus, brandishing his mighty thunderbolt. But this guy. 
Real work, really trying to pay off that literary degree. <laughs> I'm, I'm with the other guy here. First to face off against one of these. What was it like? Well, I did an unknown amount of damage. Ah, excellent. We don't need to restrain ourselves against powerful foes, but bring to bear the full force of our absolute justice. Um. <laughs> Well, yeah, but we still need to investigate. Better than being completely in the dark, that's for sure. In any event, it is essential that every last immortal be driven out. They are a blight. Is it? To be purged by humanity. I love uh. his super grim dark, like, <laughs> winged skull so, icon. Can I ask a question? Please, somebody stop the other guy Go from ahead. talking. Oh, you're that straight shooter from Innocence. Have you been here the whole time? I have. I'm actually responsible for gathering information for our team. Please ask your Nate. question. Is that why you date is that why you're named notes? It's all he's good for, yes, really. Right. The information we have on those Gigant class immortals indicates that conventional weapons are ineffective. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so what do we do if we encounter one? <laughs> In the previous well, day, the area's wide-range radar and communications tower were destroyed. We gathered what little information we could from the battle data of the Arsenal combatants. Beyond that, we know little else. Not an answer to the question yet. That's responsible true. responsible for their destruction in the last encounter. It is highly unlikely that a similar type of immortal could be hiding nearby. Highly unlikely, but not impossible either. Precisely, which is why Sky Union is loaning special weapons to those who accept this mission. Mm. Testing those okay. weapons is a secondary purpose of the mission. Ah, a secondary I'll test purpose. The heck out of those weapons. I see. Heck yeah. So there's a chance these no reason to use your own bullets. Might work, but they're just loaning them to us. Yeah, I'm gonna need more incentive than that, especially when there's a chance these weapons are total duds. What, we just gotta assume all the risk and that's that? They can't sweeten the deal at all? Come on, work with me here. I'll see what I can do. One moment, please. All of You're sudden, fired! I was gonna say, all of a sudden he's fired, I'm kicked out of the chat. Reward. You disappoint me, hero. Your older brother would never engage in such unbecoming conduct. You don't know what he got paid. Okay, I admit it. <laughs> Evan's more of a hero than I am. He's all about getting up close and using his own power to take down enemies. But that me? seems like a bad idea when they're like six stories tall. To play with. I am not gonna say no to that. Impressive. Yes. As mercenaries, we answer to a higher calling. One no, no, it doesn't. The immortals by any as mercenaries, you answer to the almighty dollar, my dude. It's true. Our burden as agents of justice. If you weren't, if you were, if you wanted to be an I agent of justice, get hired by a guy. Like he just got out of the shower. To work hard so we can afford to eat. Nobody else, nobody else's really hair looks help like if that. You sat this one out, Savior. What do you say? I wish you good luck. If you fight as a stalwart agent of justice, I will not need to enter the fray. Hmm. That, in turn, would entitle you to... Right, we've got giant robots, but we're struggling to pay enough, get paid enough to eat? This seems not backwards, I suppose. If you agree to provide them with all future battle data. Hmm. Well, in that case, I accept this mission. What about you, Prince? When duty beckons, ours is not to refuse. Innocence <laughs> will also accept Okay, so in order to keep the weapon, you have to give up all your data. Gotta read those terms of service. Yeah, I'm not. Is there an option for me to not do that then? Like, I like my data where it is. Particle density is uneven, but short-range radar will not be effective. Initiating each arsenal phaser link. 
Open. Move out. Don't let them swarm you. They're weak one-on-one, -on -one, but in a group, they're a real pain to deal with. Rookie, try using those missiles of yours. The displayed number is you're locked on targets. Fire more missiles with each target you acquire. Gotta do better than that. Oh, so you're the little rookie I've been hearing about. <laughs> you look more broken in than I expected. His name's Deva of the Steel Knights. Sup? All right, knock it Sup, off. Sup, bro? I met the rookie at the briefing. Prints and no-nonsense notes are off handling another area. Don't worry, Rookie. I'm sure you'll team up with them eventually. Chris, that cool savior's still alive? One of these days, <coughs> I really need to knock him off that high horse again. If he did, I doubt he'd notice. I barely remember if we even exist. Truth. Oh, look. We gotta make sure to keep the Rookie here in the loop. Now, this, we this work usually awesome. form groups to do this work. Collectively, we're known as Reclaimers. As a group, it's easier to take on bigger missions and negotiate for whatever supplies we need. If you don't want to die, surrounding yourself with allies is the way to go. You teamed up with Bullet Wars before, yeah? Among Reclaimers, they're one of the larger groups. All former military types, experts in the art of war. We're talking the best of the best of the best among Reclaimers. No question. So collective bargaining is the only way you guys get paid. Well, that's true. Any clue is something else? That's for sure. They're noble, basically. They got the credits and clout to put average Joes like us to work for. That's one way of putting it. Still, even nobles have duties they can't shirk by paying off the masses. Well, whatever. We're all mercenaries in the Oval Link. And, as much as I hate to admit it, that guy's a good mercenary. Damn good, even. I bet you'd give him a run for his money in a fight. You're no slouch, either. Don't forget why we're the Steel Knights. Obviously. Me and my little brother Zola are the only reclaimers in the steel night. A two-man group like ours might seem odd, but that's just how we like to roll. The best way to learn Did about the most famous reclaimers them? is to check them out. I might have shot near him. Some of them are crazy. <laughs> just absolute nutcases who dive into this mess without even blinking. It's a real freak show, that's for sure. Anyway, all reclaimers receive missions from Orbital and the consortiums. We complete those missions and get paid. That's all there is to it. But we all got our own reasons for doing this. Just check us all out, like Zoa said, and draw your own opinions. At the end of the day, we're all just mercenaries. Just five. Now let's get to work. About time. If you find any big boys, let us... Alright. Hey, you gave me a multiple Position missile launcher, left. okay? Mission accomplishment recognized. Executing automatic return sequence. Return according to instructions. Guess we didn't find any big boys. Talk about peace. <laughs> but hey, at least we get to use these weapons all we want. I'd say that counts for something. I guess. Later, rookie. Don't go dying now. Wait, mission completed, but there's more dudes to shoot. I guess. I, for one, am not gonna... Okay, looks like I maxed out on ammo. Mm. Hmm. Alright. So, can I give the rocket launcher back? I don't want you to have all my data. <laughs> nope, looks like I just get to keep it. Is it all your data forever, or just for this one? Uh, I think it's all my data forever. Mm. Which is a terrible plan. That's a terrible deal. But if they're gonna make me keep it... I did get new paint, though. Now I can have camouflage for all the trees in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Border investigation. Mission briefing. All right. If you have any questions, you can access me at any time to review the content. I wonder if this is all the map briefing. there is. 
both canonically and like mm. you know it's just starting zones or is this all that's left it's a good question even this has a couple of like smaller creators there so this could just be it Okay, so I've got a non-negotiable NDA. <laughs> oh, they have enemy mechs this time. Oh, I see. Sky Union's territory may be included in the combat zone. Hmm. As a precautionary measure to prevent a worst-case scenario, you are prohibited from bringing weapons on this mission. Wait, but how do I eliminate AIs with no weapons? Complete any necessary preparations, then stand by and await dispatch. Briefing over. Question. Also, I don't think it's fair that you don't get to bring weapons. <laughs> I love those subtitles for that. Easy there, Baldi. You're gonna break the briefing terminal. He's just mad he doesn't get to bring weapons. Is he mad or he's just stretching? I mean, I sound like that in the morning. He's angry. Yeah, he is. Anyway, I'm Chill from Innocence. Nice to meet ya. We have the same hair. Yep. With the Western Seven. His name is Big Bald. Uh, hey, what was your name again? Big Bad Gargantua. Quit saying I'm bald. I'm only 24. I just say. But that my means you're bald. bald. Really? Well, look at the choice. You wanna die for it? <laughs> Yeah, he's got to lay off the combat stems. Yeah. I like their goggles, though. Mm. They are good goggles. Oh. That's some spy shit, then. I'm just gonna wreck everything I see. I'm gonna wreck it. Even you, no, I'm a wreck it. What the heck is your problem? Like him, pretty much. Anyway, see you out there, rookie. That friggin' guy. So do I have to manually take off the weapons? I mean, probably not. Did you save your loadout? Nope. I'll just have to do it again. You think you can bring your shield? I'm a try. I don't see why not, right? I mean, it's not a weapon, it's just... It's true. <laughs> I like that everyone seems to be competent so far. We haven't yeah. run into a slippy toad situation yet. That's true. Endo particle density is high. Long range radar is not available, but short range radar is not effective. Okay, so it's a femto particle. Initiating each arsenal. Maybe it's a type of neutrino. Opening squad communications mm. channel. And no matter what we do, they can't see us from there. That is correct. Procure weapons for yourselves before you arrive at the designated area. Begin the mission. Okay, so how do we? Do we have to beat up another want. robot. You two can kick rocks for all I care. All right, so he's a liability. Yeah. Uh, and off he goes. Well, rookie, I guess we better get started. I know we got dispatched empty-handed, but all arsenals have universal weapon specs. Meaning, if an enemy's using a weapon, we can use it too. That's handy. You can either pick them off destroyed enemies or grab whatever weapons you find laying around. Scan complete. Displaying available weapons on your console. See? Four's got our back. Just pick up a weapon and she'll handle the calibration and configuration and whatnot. <laughs> Does make you wonder why they send people out to do this if the if Ford can do that. <laughs> 
Yeah. I wonder if it literally just comes down to not trusting them after the... Yeah, just like that. Now that you're ours, let's get to work. We got money. Too bad you don't get to use your missile launcher. <laughs> yeah. That looks like a giant, like, a giant Uzi. It is a giant Uzi. Alright. Uh. I do think that enemy robots are a little too much like yours. A little bit. Like, if that was if there wasn't a HUD thing in front of that, I I wouldn't need a ton. Where's there's the bag? There's the bag there. I'm just collecting robot parts. I wonder if you get to keep them. Oh, yeah. Because we saw like four spots on the hangar which suggests that you can save different robot loadouts. Build me a whole new robot out of these guys. Might as well. I am curious why all rock formations look like they are superheated at the tip. That is kind of weird. It's not just red, it, it is glowing. Like. Yeah. Maybe it's those particles they were talking about, but like, collecting. It was like, there's some glowy little fireflies of color off to the right. Pretty good. Yeah. I will put you down if I have to. It's a little weird that they brought him on the stealth mission. Yeah. Nah, it's fine. We survived and that's all that matters. Let's go home, Ricky. Yay. Okay, well, it looks like that's everything. It seems like it always leaves like a couple of them behind. After yeah. At the end of the mission. I'm not sure what the point of that is. But remember, there was no evidence that we were here, not even all the exploded things. Well, we didn't bring our own guns, so <laughs> they must have just shot each other a bunch. Yep, that's the thing that makes sense. Who killed the first one? <laughs> Good question. Maybe it just broke down. Mm. Well, next time on Endless Mode, we're going to see what this new robot looks like. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>